Hello guys, I think it's recording. This is a test of ScreenFlow 3.0 or whatever it's called. Um, so this is a tutorial on how to do uh, uh, color correction, basic color correction on Final Cut Express 4. Not um, Final Cut Pro X, not the... Uh, it might work on the old Final Cut Pro 7, not the new Final Cut Pro, because that looks totally different. But, um, so I'm just going to do a basic color correcting. You, you want to have your uh, clip in your browser, so, I don't know, you just import the clip like on if you install on your desktop or like on iPhoto or another program or you can log and transfer it from your camera onto Final Cut um, so basically you just need to have your clip in the browser um, so basically you have your clip here I just took this random 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 clip um, pretty old clip that I just kick flipped this little gap this isn't a video this is I think my last video was this clip um, so yeah this is this random like kick flip type thing on this gap. Pretty pretty decent. I just took this running clip because the clip look looks really ugly from the straight footage from my Nikon D three hundred. Um so that's the clip that I'm choosing. So let's just put it into your timeline. Uh whoa. And uh, make sure this I might just do a video just on the run through on what settings you should do in Final Cut. But normally I uh have the clips linked just so when I do slow motion I don't have to do it with the audio and video separately. So you have your clips in the timeline. or Yeah, um, so this is just a random clip, as I said before. So um, it's not rendered, so I'm going to render it right now. The clip, uh, this is what the clip looks like. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, the colors aren't that great in the clip. The colors are kind of dull. Um, it's not that saturated. It just looks kind of ugly. And even though this is record, this is filmed with my new Nikon D3100, it still looks not that great. So um, it's always good to color correct your clips, no matter what camera you're using. It always helps out. Um, so you go to effects. I normally go to effects here. You can do it in the effects like filter right, the, the effects bar right here. But I like doing this effects. That's what I normally do it on. So make sure you select your clips. I normally double click it so it's all selected. Then you go to color correction, color corrector, and it just stopped. Rent it just now. It's uh, unrendered. It's because it, you put the color correct bar up there. So um, this is the original clip. It looks really. It's kind of unsaturated. Not that great of a clip. So you just go and this is all your stuff with. I you can do other color correction like I used to do a lot with uh, RBG, R, RGB balance. That you can just change what the like kind of what the white balance is, but I'm not going to do that today. I'll probably do another tutorial. Um, but this is a this is just kind of an update in the middle of the tutorial. Um, it's actually snowing outside right now. You know it's like October, because I live in Canada. So, um, it's, it's kind of like mushy rain, so I won't have that many skin videos if it starts really snowing. Um, so yeah, this I'll put like tutorials and like other stuff. But I'll probably put some like stuff skating but like indoor skating um so yeah this is the quick little update so you have your clip in here um I'm just doing kickflip um so you have your clip it, it's kind of unsaturated so these are your things you can do you have your color bars um you can with with this you can like make it one like be like if you want it to be really red then you can go into this but that looks really numb um if you wanted to make it more blue, you can go into the blue. Um, that's pretty much how you do it. This is like the color bar thing. I use that a lot just to change like the white balance around. So um, that's like your color, like a color wheel. I call it the color wheel. I don't even know what you call it. Um, so basically, this is the original clip. Uh, let's make it a bit more saturated because it's kind of dull right now. But you don't want to make it too saturated unless you're trying to. Um, or you can do it black and white if you want to, but that looks kind of dumb with this clip because it's actually nice weather outside that day. So this is, it's pretty fairly decently saturated and I don't know, I want to make it a bit darker. So let's just go to the blacks section and you just go and I'll make it a bit more dark. Not so dark like this because then it'll look really awkward, but I like to make it a bit darker. Then with the mids and whites, I normally make it a bit brighter. Not like that bright, but not like that dark. Um... So normally, like, I like to make it a bit brighter here, and then a bit more brighter here. And let's see the clip now. Um, it's a bit too bright, actually, so I'm going to put that down. Uh, that looks pretty, pretty good. 
um, make it a bit, maybe a bit less saturated. No, I'd say it looks good there. Um, so, and I, I'm gonna make this a bit more blue, because I like the blue tint in this clip when I color corrected it. But I actually, the, the, the video, like, this clip, I actually color corrected on the new Final Cut, so, um, it probably looks a lot different, but here's, like, the, I'm gonna make it a bit more, have more of a blue tint to it. So, um, that looks, that looks pretty good. This is just basic color correcting, nothing insane. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. Um, this is just basic color correction. So this is the original clip right here. It's unrendered, obviously. So, um, this is the original clip. It's not that great. Like, it, the footage looked good on my camera, and then when I imported the computer, it looked kind of unsaturated, really dull colors. And once I'm just gonna render the new clip. So yeah, this is the old clip. It's really unsaturated, kind of ugly. And this is the new clip rendered. Um, it looks pretty nice. This is not insane color correction. One second. So this is the old clip. Not that great. Kind of unsaturated. Kind of an ugly clip. So that's not that great. And um, this is the new clip, color corrected and everything. So it's a nice and the saturation pops though. It's a bit has a blue tint to it. Um, so yeah, the blue tint looks really good. Um, yeah, so this is the nice new and color corrected clip. So let's just watch it. And that's obviously unrendered. It's because um, because I haven't rendered it yet, and uh, I don't really want to render it because I'm probably just going to delete this whole project. But um, so this is the clip. It looks really nice, nice blue tint. Thanks for watching. Um, might not have a lot of skating videos up lately because it looks like it's going to snow. But um, lots of other stuff, more indoor skating videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.